Now learning to do this correctly will result in that slice backhand that stays low and skids through the court, just like so. Now, how would it feel to be able to hit that slice backhand that stays low and skids through the court? I know that's pretty much all of us watching this video. A lot of the times for our slice backhands, what happens on the contrary, a lot of us end up cutting down too much, the ball sits up and floats, and then the opponent can come in and attack that ball. So the question is, as always, how can you effectively hit that slice backhand that results in that lower ball that skids through the court? Today, I'm just gonna be talking about the swing path. A very, very important factor. And if you just master the swing path alone, it's really gonna help you develop more of a slice backhand that bites and skids through. So let's talk about the swing path. The basis for this, you wanna replicate what we call a banana style swing shape. What does that mean? That essentially means at the end of the unit turn, so here I'll split step, I'll complete my unit turn, the hands and racket are relatively high, just beneath shoulder level. Now from here, you'll step forward and you'll swing down slightly to contact. And now, after contact, this is the most important factor. After contact, it'll go down a little bit more, but then I'll redirect back up and out towards my target. So that's why we call it the banana style swing shape. Now that being said, what do you most likely see at the club level and sometimes even at the pro level? You see when they pull the swing down and across their body. But this right here can cause a lot of problems for players because you can cut under the ball too much, which results in that ball sitting up and floating. And remember, when you do this, if the ball sits up and floats, now you're really giving your opponent that ball which they can attack on, and now putting yourself in more of that defensive position. So instead, to simplify, we're working with a drive slice today. You wanna work on that banana style swing shape where you drive forward and upward back out towards your target and replicate that banana swing. So to work on this, go, I would work in what we call the isolated position. So start with the feet here already in the neutral stance, parallel with a single sideline, starting at the end of the unit turn. Now from here, swing down slightly to contact and then swing back up and out towards the target. And you can see the racket here is still on the hidden side of my body. It hasn't disappeared over to the right side. That's a very good exaggeration. After you've done that a few times in the shadow swing, then take a few balls. You can go inside the court initially to simplify, starting in the isolated position, complete just a half turn to begin with, and then you're gonna to toss the ball under your hitting arm at approximately a 45 degree angle. So it goes out in front of you. It looks something like this, you toss, and then you'll reconnect up here, and then complete the swing. Let me just show you here. So there, I'll toss, reconnect, swing. Let's see another one. So here, just half turn, toss, reconnect, swing. That ball toss a little bit too low. Let me show again. Toss, reconnect, swing. You can see that ball stays low and skids through the court. And that kind of ball, if you're an opponent and it's skidding low, it's really not a nice ball to deal with. So if you can do that at the club level, that's really gonna take that slice backhand and transform it into a major weapon. But I hope that gives you a good understanding today, a very small tip on developing a better drive slice backhand. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, like the video, and subscribe to our tennis channel for more videos like this.